it's a pleasure to take a few minutes to update everyone on what it was like to live for three days on the artificial pancreas. For three days last week, I got to live my normal life while an artificial pancreas system helped me manage my blood glucose. I got to go out for dinner, I went out for lunch. In fact, because this was a test of the system, I was required to eat out at restaurants. I've done a lot of human clinical trials and this is the first one where they said, you have to go out and eat. And trust me, I was more than happy to follow instructions. So what does my artificial pancreas look like? It looks like a smartphone. You can see that I've got two green lights. This is wirelessly connecting to my continuous glucose sensor and to my insulin pump. And it's starting to automate the delivery of insulin and keep me in great control. It's a very user-friendly interface. Two stoplights, one low, one high. Right now, two green lights, which means I'm good to go. Not gonna go high, I'm not gonna go low. Very simple, very straightforward to use. It's on 24 hours a day, watching me even while I sleep. Again, give me fantastic control. It's a control to range system, and we've talked about this in the past. So I'm still involved in making big decisions about my insulin, but it's making all of those little decisions and sweating all the little stuff throughout the day so that I don't have to. I can't tell you how incredibly exciting this is and how much fun it is to be able to walk around with a smartphone and know it's doing all this stuff for me. I told everyone I would eat a hot fudge sundae while I was on the artificial pancreas, and I did. How did the system do? It worked perfectly. I ate the sundae, I loved it, and I did not go high. To me, what's just as exciting about this piece of technology and the artificial pancreas is the story of how we got where we are right now. Since 2006, we've been raising money for the artificial pancreas. We've lobbied Congress and the FDA to push forward better regulatory environment for the artificial pancreas. We've funded researchers globally, a whole consortium of researchers. We've partnered with industry, and then we've raised more money for the artificial pancreas. The great piece of the story is we've done all that work since 2006, and here I am today living on an artificial pancreas system. We said we were going to do it, and we've done it. I truly wish I could hand this out and let every person out there play with this and touch the buttons and see what an amazing system it is. I think there's an important lesson to take from all of this. I think it's important to remember that in 2006, there were those who said this could not be done. But JDRF said this can be done. JDRF set out to do it, and now we are delivering. Just as we are doing this with the artificial pancreas, JDF is going to deliver a whole stream of advancements that will change the lives of those living with type 1 diabetes. In the coming years, type 1 diabetes is going to become a memory because all of the work we do to make this disease less of a burden until it finally goes away. I want everyone to know that we should never doubt they were changing the world because we are. T1D doesn't wait, and neither will we. JDF is leading the way. Join us in changing the world.